Credit card fraud has increased 161% in the last five years. Now, with Google's announcement of virtual credit card numbers, the tech giant is looking to offer shoppers a more secure way to buy goods and services online. We'll show you how a virtual credit card can help keep your real card secure as we sit down and sync up with Rocket IT's weekly technology update. Hello everyone, I'm Chris Swinson, Technology Insider here at Rocket IT, and welcome to Sync Up, your new home for trending technology news. In a recent security event hosted by Google, the tech giant announced it would soon offer the ability to use a virtual credit card number when paying for items online. Rather than using the number found on your physical card, Google's virtual cards replace your real 16-digit code with another to ensure your payment details remain safe. Think of it like you would the new contactless payment feature on modern card readers you find at the store. As you can imagine, having your real card number concealed online is helpful for several reasons. Primarily, if you find yourself purchasing from online shops that keep a record of your card on file, it ensures you're protected if that shop's database is hacked later down the line. While many credit card companies offer this service already, Google's hoping its addition into Chrome will increase the adoption rate. That said, Google's virtual cards won't be launching for a couple more months as the business is finalizing partnerships with major credit card companies. So far, Google has confirmed that Capital One, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express will be supported at launch. Furthermore, the service will only be available in Chrome and on Android when first released, but Google plans to bring the feature to iPhones soon after. Once the service is launched later this summer, you'll simply have to head to pay.google.com to enable the feature on any card you choose to store. This page will also serve as a hub to view the transaction histories of all your virtual cards in a single location. In addition to hiding your actual card number, Google promises the virtual cards will also work with Chrome's autofill feature, ensuring you don't have to type the number out with each purchase. Now, depending on your card's carrier, you might find this feature a welcome addition. For example, if you're a Capital One member, your virtual card with Google will change with every site you purchase from. On the other hand, if you're a Visa card holder, your card will get a different security code with each new site. Once again, this is a security measure to ensure hackers don't potentially collect your virtual card information and use it on any other site of their choice. Now, while this all sounds awesome from a security perspective, there have been some concerns that Google plans to capture consumer data for advertising purposes. For those concerned, Google says it won't be taking this approach. Instead, Google will continue to rely on the 200 million sites in its network to capture cookie data and tailor its ads to your buying habits. Instead, consider this another step in Google's path towards account security. And while we still have a couple of more months to wait for this new feature, the best thing I can recommend right now is to secure your bank and online shopping accounts with some form of multi-factor authentication. Sites like Amazon, Wells Fargo, Walmart, Target, and more all support MFA. For recommendations on the best MFA service for your personal or work accounts, contact Rocket IT using the link in this video's description. And to stay up to date on trending technology news, hit that subscribe button and the bell to catch us on next week's episode of Sync Up with Rocket IT.